What's up guys, Tommy Mutchler here, your lazy realtor, and today we are going to be talking about the Chime CRM's smart plan features, also sometimes referred to as a follow-up campaign, a drip campaign, an action plan is a really common term. Basically, it's a campaign, it's a program, a sequence of events of text, emails, ringless voicemails, things like that to follow up and engage your leads. And today I'm going to be showing you why I think Chime has the best follow-up campaign campaign, they call it smart plans, system out there. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Um, but real quick, I have other full detailed reviews of the Chime CRM. So if you're interested in learning more about Chime, more than just the smart plan feature that we're going to be talking about today, I do have a couple videos down below that will go much more in depth regarding how Chime works as a, an entire CRM follow-up package regarding the website, regarding the automation, regarding the chatbot, things like that, and other things that Chime does. Because right now we're talking about just the follow-up aspect, which is a very small portion yet probably one of the most powerful features of Chime and probably one of the best follow-up systems of any CRM out there. I have demoed and used, I don't know, two or three dozen different CRMs and nothing comes close to what Chime does when it comes to automating your follow-up. So again, real quick before we dive right into Chime, um, I do have a referral link down in the description. So if you are thinking about getting Chime, you're welcome to click that link, sign up below. It does give me a little bit of kickback. It also gives you the big biggest and best discount that they do offer. So if you want to help me out, you can. Uh, if you don't want to help me out, that's cool too. I'm just here to help. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into Chime CRM. So here we are. I'm in the settings page of the CRM and I click right down here on smart plans. So this is all my smart plans. Basically, again, this is smart plans are action plans, follow up plans, drip campaigns, whatever you want to call them. They're called a lot of different things. Uh, this is kind of everything I have right now and we'll just kind of dive into it real quick here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add new smart plan just to kind of give you an idea of what smart plans look like. So you really got two different types of smart plans. You have your standard non-reoccurring plan. It basically, this is gonna be your main bread and butter. Your 99% of your smart plans are gonna be a standard smart plan. Uh, there are reoccurring plans. We'll kind of briefly touch on these at the end. I want to explain what this type of smart plan is before I dive into this because these will make more sense after I talk about this. But again, 95% of your smart plans are gonna be a standard smart plan. All right, so one of the things that makes Chime CRM so much more advanced compared to other CRMs is its ability to automatically apply smart plans to a lead. So most CRMs, uh, if you want to add a, a, any sort of drip campaign, any sort of action plan, you have to manually apply it to that lead, which is fine. Sometimes, you know, you really want to do that, but why not just have it automatically apply the appropriate smart plan or the appropriate drip campaign when needed? Like, why would you want to waste your time manually adding campaigns, action plans to a lead if you don't have to? Chime does this in a really smart, easy to use way. So we'll just kind of quickly dive into it. And of course, you can add plans manually. So if you want to manually add a plan, you can. But uh, we're just going to we're going to make up a plan right here. We're going to go ahead and name it. It's going to be for buyers. It's going to be a buyer nurture campaign for leads that are, let's just say, six to 12 months out. OK, and, and we'll, we'll kind of go over different scenarios here. Then we got to select our targeted lead so we can select whatever we want. We can select buyer, seller, buyers and sellers, renters. Who cares about <laughs> who cares about renters? Right. Let's be real. Those are the worst leads to work. They're never going to buy other. So if you want to target, I don't know, whoever you want, other realtors to recruit, you can. We're going to select buyers for the moment. Applicable conditions. So if you want this smart plan to automatically apply to all leads that are six to 12 months out, you have to identify what those leads are. So if I click on here, we have a bunch of different applicable conditions. When a specified leads are newly created, so maybe like a like a realtor.com lead or a Zillow lead or a Facebook lead comes in or a home valuation lead, you can click this and you can identify, okay, any lead that's um, you know a Facebook ad that just came in, right? you want this plan to only apply to those Facebook leads. However, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be applying this to leads that are six to 12 months out. To kind of talk about some of these features here, I don't care about the lead source, so I'm just going to select all. doesn't matter. You have a few different options over here. You have something called pipelines and you have something called groups. Um, these are important. So if I'm going to click on a different page, this is my people's page. Chime has a pipeline and a lead has to be somewhere in the pipeline. Uh, leads, all leads come in as a new lead 
lead, and then you can move a lead around into different stations of the pipeline. So you can move them into cold, nurturing, warm, hot, appointment set. As you kind of see, I'm moving this towards closing, right? So the goal is, you know, they're a hot lead, they're a new lead, they're, you know, I set an appointment, I showed them a house, I put them under contract, we're now pending, and then we closed. And then I have some other, other guys over here, like Sphere, other referred out, unqualified, do not contact. Those aren't really important for the sake of this video, but you have all these different stages of the pipeline, right? So any lead that I put in, let's say the cold and nurturing pipeline, and that is six to 12 months out, Smart Plan will automatically apply to that lead. Of course, you have a ton of other features you can say, and you know what, they're buying in February, right? You know, and they don't have any property alerts on. Uh, you could get really creative with this. You can add a lot of different features. Um, you can also do things like when they behave in a certain way. So if we back up a little bit here, when certain criteria applies to a lead and you identify these leads, like you would check a box on the lead saying, you know, they're six to 12 months out, maybe they're buying in February. You don't have to do this. You can get as specific as you want, or you can keep it as broad as you want. It's really up to you. Um, maybe they're in a certain group. Groups are like buckets. If you're unfamiliar with how groups work, maybe it doesn't matter if they have a property alert on, or maybe, you know what? I just want to target people that are interested in condos, right? Because then maybe you can customize the message saying, hey, we got some really awesome condos coming out here. So you can get very specific with how you want these smart plans to automatically apply to any particular lead, which is really powerful and can save you a ton of time. You can also be more specific. So let's just say when a lead engages in a certain behavior, because all Chime websites come with a really awesome, probably the best looking website and property alerts that I've ever seen. So maybe if they request a showing on your website or they leave a message or they save a listing, you know what? Anyone that saves a list on my um, on my website and they're in the any part of the pipeline I want, right? You really should select what type of pipeline where they are because if they're a hot lead, you might want to send them a different message as opposed to they're a cold lead. Because if they're a cold lead, you might want to say a message like, hey, are you starting your search back up? I saw you were checking out some properties. Whereas a hot lead, you might want to say, hey, are there any properties you want to see? So you can send out different messaging based on the activity they take. You know, save, save a, or view the listing more than three times. So you can really get creative with how you want these smart plans to apply to a lead. Now, if a lead responds to your smart plan um, or your follow-up campaign, you can automatically pause it. So you can say, if they reach out, automatically pause them, then, you know, you could choose an action if you want. So you can move them to a different pipeline. You can move them, move them to a different group. You can add a tag if you want to, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. You don't have to do this. And if they do pause, you don't have to, you can just select no action. It's totally up to you. The outbound call is locked. So if you call them and you, it's recorded as talk, like you talk to them, you know what? Maybe we wanna pause the plan, right? This might be more important for like new leads, like new Facebook leads. Maybe you, you want the drip campaign or the follow-up campaign to stop following up with them after you've talked to them or after they responded. But because this is a nurture campaign and it's gonna be six to 12 months out, we wanna be continuing usually touching them that sounds <laughs> That sounds horrible. Uh, you want to be constantly dripping on them and and engaging with them, right? So I don't want to I don't want to pause the campaign unless the pipeline changes. So I'm going to click that unless the pipeline changes, they just talked to me and they said, you know what? Yeah, we're ready to start their home search. So I moved them into the hot pipeline. I want this smart plan to automatically stop. You got a couple more features here, like the tags are changed or the source has changed. I'm not going to dive into too many of these because you don't really use too many of them. Really, the pipeline changes or these three. These are the three mains that I use. So again, Chime is really awesome because it can automatically apply these drip campaigns based on either certain criteria that the lead meets or if the lead engages in a specific behavior on your website, like save a listing, like view a listing a few times, like returning to a website after, I don't know, three months or something. Different smart plans can apply and nurture that lead. All right, so now let's talk about the actual campaigns because this is one of the really cool features about Chime because not only is it gonna automatically apply these campaigns to the lead based on the certain criteria they meet, um, it also has a ton of awesome different messaging features. First off, we're gonna select when do we want it to go out. I want it to go out immediately, but only between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So I don't want it to go out at six in the morning or three in the morning if they register on a website. I'll let the AI chat bot nurture the lead at six in the morning or three in the morning. I want my automated text to go out between I don't know, let's just say 10 and 3 p.m. Doesn't matter. You could select whatever time you want these leads to immediately be engaged. Or you can say, wait, you know, I want it to wait 
whatever, like 10 minutes. Again, you can select between a time or you can just wait days. And then again, you select a time. So you have a lot of different features right there. Of course, you got our messaging. So do I want to do an automated text, an automated email? Um, you can do a manual email, manual text, manual call. And then you can do a ringless voicemail, which is a slide broadcast. You got other, which is just a, it's like a note, right? You then have checklists. If you want to do multiple checklists, you can. You then have property alerts. So if you want it to automatically apply a property alert instead, you can. It would be really cool. Let's just say, you know, you do 10 different messages. You send out, you know, a bunch of texts, a bunch of emails. You might want to set them on a property alert and you can create whatever property alert you want. You can make single family homes. I would keep it broad. If you're going to do a property alert like this, I might want to keep it a little bit more broad. Um, if you want to get more specific, like rental properties, you can. I'm just going to kind of leave it open. Maybe through a certain price point, you know, between 400,000 uh, and 700,000. These are the type of price points I want to stay in, right? So, and then you could choose how you want the alert to go out. Do you want it to go out immediately? You know, do you want it to go out? What do you want the frequency to be? Do you want it to be weekly? Do you want it to be daily? Do you want it to be instantly? Do you want it to be monthly? You can really get really creative with your messaging here. And then if you want to, you can then send a follow-up text saying, hey, did you get the property alerts I just sent you? So you can get really creative with property alerts right there. Of course, and even a few other options, you can hit apply smart plans. So if you want it to apply a different smart plan, let's just say this campaign ends. Let's say we send in a bunch of texts, a bunch of emails. Um, they go out for a, a couple years, right? You want to put them on the, maybe a cold, right? A cold buyer, three month touch type of smart plan, right? So it's automatically going to apply them to a new smart plan. So that way you're not repeating multiple smart plans and repeating content. You can kind of keep it simple. Like, hey, this smart plans ends after 30 days. Couldn't get in touch with them. So I'm going to put them on a cold nurture, right? So you can get really, really creative with things like this. Um, of course, then you can add tags. So you can change tags. So you can either add or remove a tag, right? So maybe you have a tag that says the lead's really, really hot. And you know what? They don't respond after like six, you know, after a month, right? So then you maybe want to remove that tag and remove that hot tag or whatever you want to do. You can get as creative as you want with stuff like this. Of course, then you have change groups. You can change the different groups. So you can add or remove groups. Again, groups are kind of like buckets, bucket of leads. You can put a lead in as many groups if you as you want. And then because this is the first message, I can't do it, but you can do change pipeline. Oh no, sorry, it's because I did the change because I click this. If I unclick the change pipeline status, I can then change the leads pipeline again to whatever I want. So maybe the, the campaign ends and I want to move them from a hot, maybe because I they haven't responded, I want to move them hot to a warm. And then, you know, they don't respond to the warm after a while, I want to move them from a hot to a, a cold, right? You can, So you can change the pipeline. And again, you can have the smart plans either automatically apply. So, you know, when they get automatically moved to that cold pipeline, it maybe it'll apply a brand new smart plan in that cold pipeline. Or if you want to, you can just hit uh, start a new smart plan. So you can get really creative. You can do it two different ways. It's not going to add, Chime is not going to add the same smart plan twice. So you're not going to have a problem where, you know, it's going to send them two text messages from the same smart plan. But um, so you can get creative, creative like that. So you have a lot of different questions. So if we'll just go click on email here, you got a lot of, a lot of different features, subject line, right? You have all text, basic text editing stuff. You can insert links. You can add photos. You can add attachments. So if you want to attach like a buyer's book, Book, you can. Um, you can add HTML text. So if you know how to, if you know anything about HTML and you know how to add HTML emails, um, you can create them inside of Mailchimp and then you can add them in here. So if you want something a little bit fancier that doesn't look like a traditional email, you can. You can add bomb bomb videos. You can add YouTube videos. You can add emojis, and you can add listings. So if you want to, you can add a listing. So maybe you want to create a, a one-off campaign for a, a new listing that you want to make. So let's just say this is one of my listings. I'm just going to insert it right now, and it's going to show up in this email. So if you want want to, you can add, add listings. I, I rarely send out listing alerts this way, um, but you can if you want to. Of course, then you have a ton of different templates. So Chime's going to come with some templates, but you can create your own and add your own if you want to create your own email templates. And you do that right here under under email templates if you want to make some. And then variables. I think everyone knows what a variable content is. So you can autofill someone's name. So let's just say I'm writing the subject line or the subject, email subject line, lane, lane. I can't talk right now. Uh, video message for, and then I want to add the first name of the, to the lead. So I'll do video message and then boom. It's gonna autofill that lead's first name. If the lead doesn't have anything in their first name, like let's just say you just have an email, but you don't have a name, it's not gonna autofill it. It'll send the video message for dot, dot, dot. And you might wanna add a little dot, 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 just in case, you know, it's not there. And then if you want, you can just embed a bomb, bomb video. So click bomb, bomb, 
let's just add a video. You can. Awesome. Cool beans. And again, you can type whatever message you want. You have a ton of different variable options. So let's just say they inquired on a home in Bellingham. I can say, hey, are you only looking for homes in Bellingham? So that's just a cool little autofill feature. You can get really creative with that. And of course you have some custom fields as well that you can add. So you can add, add your own custom fields, things like that. Then you have agent variables. So if you have multiple agents, again, you can build out these smart plans for your agents uh, with their agent info. Of course, I like to add my email signature at the end. Next, right here, you're gonna see assign to agent. So you can assign it to your agent or you can assign it to assistant. So if you have an assistant, uh, you can create an assistant account inside of Chime for them. So maybe, you know, you wanna create some tasks. So under other, you know, say, hey, uh, send a postcard postcard, right? Um, so you can send a postcard really quick. Chime just added the ability to send mass postcards. They have a few postcard features. I have a feeling they're going to be adding it to smart planes. I've been asking them for a while. I have a gut feeling they're going to be adding the ability to send postcards from smart plans. They have not added it yet, but they have added the ability to mail out postcards in their campaign section. Campaign sections where you can do like Facebook lead gen, uh, seller lead gen, buyer lead gen, postcards, things like that. So if you want to send out mail I think they're going to be adding, the, adding it to smart plans, which will be really cool if you want to send out postcard to an expired listing every single week. So I think that's a feature that's coming. I really hope it does because they keep adding stuff to the smart plans and making it more advanced. I'm not done with smart plans. It gets even cooler than this. There is something right here called conditional questions. Conditional question is a, a yes, no. Does a lead meet a certain criteria? So if I click on conditional questions and then it's going to ask a question, if the lead is a first time home buyer, if yes, then select task. So if they're a first time home buyer, I want to send out an email. If they're a first, if they're not a first time home buyer, maybe I want to send out a text or you can send out another email. You can send out two emails, right? Let's just say I want to do an email and a text or I want to get creative and I want to send out a ringless voicemail. If they are a first time home buyer, I want to send out an email. The email could be whatever it, whatever it is you want it to be, right? You know, had you got our, you know, our six best, best steps for buying a house or six home buyer mistakes, right? You could add something like that. If they are not a first time home buyer, maybe you want to send out a voicemail saying, Hey, just wanted to see if you wanted to see any houses this weekend. So you can get really creative. Now, it's not just the first time home buyer you can you can select. There's a ton of different options. They plan to buy in, you know, the next three months. They're pre-qualified. You know, they already have an agent, does have a property alert, has a mailing address, or doesn't have a mailing address, right? Has an assigned lender, has a phone number, has an email. So maybe if they, they have an email, you want to send out a different message. So if they if they have an email in their details, you want to send out an email. If they don't have an email, they probably have a phone number, right? So you want to send them an automated text instead, right? Because they don't have an email. You can get really creative with this. Um, there's a ton of different features. They favored a listing. Maybe they didn't favor a listing. Uh, has requested a, a evaluation on their home. There's a lot of different, a lot of different features. Um, has an agent already. So you can create these these really advanced uh, if this then that smart plans that only apply to certain leads based on certain criteria. So you can see how advanced and how deep you can really go with smart plans. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of all these different smart plans. I briefly want to touch on um, the reoccurring plans. So the reoccurring plans um, are a little bit different than the traditional smart plans because they, they reoccur. I'm just going to click on any one. It actually doesn't matter which one you click on. You can click on all any one. They're all the same. So everything's the exact same except the schedule. So you can do a fixed date. So it goes out on a specific date. So maybe you just want to send a one-off happy Thanksgiving, or you can do a reoccurring. You can select yearly, monthly, weekly. So if you do, you know, monthly, it's going to be on the, let's just say the ninth of every month. I want a certain message to go out, right? And you know, it can end after one cycle or 10 cycles or whatever you want, or you can just go forever. Well, let's say a specific date it could be a birthday. It could be a closed date. It could be Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's day. I'm going to go ahead and click or it could be a custom day. You can add your own custom criteria. I'm going to say a close date. So all my leads that are going to close or any leads that have sold a house, that have sold a house to, um, which is a close date, I want it to apply this smart plan. So I'm going to click all, you know, buyers and sellers, doesn't matter who. I'm going to click everyone, uh, closed, closed leads. Go ahead and select that. I don't want it to ever end, so I'm not going to click ends after a certain cycle, but I want it to be my closed leads only. So if I want to, I'm going to just select the closed pipeline. Actually, you don't have to because it's only going to apply to leads that have that have a, a closed property. And you mark that inside your, your CRM, but I'm going to go ahead and select this anyway. Um, do I want to stop ever? No, I don't want it to ever stop. I want it to automatically apply. So I click automatically apply and I want to send out a, a CMA. So I'm going to do a manual task first, send a custom CMA. Now you have this little date icon here. You can choose when you want it to go out. I want this 
smart plan to apply or trigger two days before their anniversary because I want them to get I want them to get their CMA maybe like an anniversary card on the actual day that they closed so I'm gonna send it out two days beforehand or I could send it two days after or on the close date so you can get really specific on how when you want this to go out right and then maybe two days later at 9 30 seven, right? I'm going to want to send them maybe an automated text or give them a call. I will just send them an automated text saying, you know, happy, happy anniversary. I'm not going to type it out. So you could really get specific on, on things like that. And again, of course, you have all the criteria. So you can get as crazy as you want with all this, with all this jazz. But this is just another cool feature that cloud or that chime has. Next feature I want to quickly go over is the library. So obviously you can create and make whatever drip campaign you want. Um, I've created a ton of custom ones, but Chime also has a pretty extensive library on different campaigns that's already built into the CRM. So there's a lot of awesome ones, you know, you got some uh, home anniversary card, you know, so it's going to send out an email, right? Happy home anniversary, you know, buyer leads, Facebook leads. I use smart plans too as kind of like action plans, kind of like task or to-do lists as well. So I won't actually send out any messages, but I'll have like to-do lists on them. So you can search what type of type of plan you want. So you can do drip campaigns, you can do workflow, you can do automation, you can do AI assist assistant accessory. So the AI, the Chime AI that is built in the Chime, if you want to use it, it's a text chat bot, will automatically tag leads. So if they're six months out, it'll let you know um, if they're hot and ready to go. It'll add a tag. If it says we've been unable to contact them after a few days, it, it'll put a tag inside of that lead, which you can then go back to and add a smart plan that'll automatically apply a smart plan plan when that tag is added by the AI. So again, you can even further automate the, the whole smart plan follow up like, hey, you know what, my assistant Amy, it's your chatbot, right? My assistant Amy wasn't able to, to get in contact with you. I just wanted to follow up with you and see if I can help with your home search, right? So maybe AI can't reach out to the lead anymore. So maybe you want to, or you know, maybe it's because the lead's six months out, you want it to automatically apply a six month uh, campaign. Um, so there's a lot of great, great automation options in here. But again, I like to create my own. So if you're buying Chime and you just want to get it started on something, Chime already has you covered. It has a ton of great smart plans built out to you. It's not going to have the ringless voicemails because you're going to have to record those with your own voice, right? But it's going to have a bunch of text and emails and call plans already built in for you, ready to go. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, we covered a lot in the Chime smart plan follow-up systems. Hope that all made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I would love to answer them however I can. Again, if you want a full walkthrough of the Chime CRM, down in the description, you can either take a demo by Chime. There's a, a sign-up link for a demo and you get that extra discount and it helps me out. Or there's a couple videos of me going, doing a full walkthrough of the whole Chime CRM. So check those out if you want to learn more. And uh, my name is Tommy Mutchler and I'll see you in the next one.